All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to share some service manual information for you, specifically about the location of various grounds on the vehicle that you might need when you're trying to debug an electrical problem and you don't have this service information. This is a 2013 manual, but it should cover all of the vehicles in the video title and description. It's principally around the SUV models, Avalanche, Suburban, and Tahoe from Chevrolet. Escalade from Cadillac and Yukon from GMC, although there will be some overlap with the pickup truck models. So if we go to this section here, we can get a list of all of these grounds. Now before we go here, let me tell you how they're, they're, they're identified. So G for ground and then a, a number after that. If it starts with a 1 in this position, then the ground is going to be in the front of the vehicle, either on or forward of the firewall. If it has a 2, it's going to be inside or underneath the front seat area. If it has a three, it's going to be inside or underneath the rear seat area. And if it has a four, it's going to be everything from that rear of the uh, back seat to the rear of the vehicle. So tailgate, trunk, chassis area underneath where the uh, trailer harness is, that sort of thing. So that's just the way GM breaks the grounds up. So G100, lower left of the radiator core support. Let me go show you where that one is. And at the same time, since they're close together, G101, lower right of the radiator core support, I'll show you where those two are. All right, for G100 and G101, they've got several different diagrams covering different RPOs, like Z88, Z75, X88, right there. But essentially, it doesn't matter because they're all going to be the same. And then HP2, which is the hybrid. G110 is going to be over here on the driver's side. And G101, number eight, is going to be on the passenger side. I'll go show you those on the actual truck. All right, so we're on the driver's side, under the bumper, here's the mount. And if we go past that and we zoom in on the mirror, we can see G100 right there. That little silver bolt that you see is G100. All right, so here in the mirror here on the passenger side, that's G101 right there in the mirror. It's got two leads going to it. If we zoom out here to get the orientation, here you can see the passenger side frame mount right there. So he's going to be right behind this frame piece here. We're see using the mirror to get a view of him from the opposite side. All right, next up is G102. This is the location when it's not a hybrid. Lower left front of the engine block. G102 with a hybrid vehicle is on the engine. Rear side of the left-hand cylinder head. I'm only going to show you, obviously, the except HP2 version. So let's go take a look at that along with... Uh, G103, which is on the front of the right side of the cylinder head when you don't have RPO HP2. And if you do have RPO HP2, it's on the lower left front of the engine block above the oil pan. Again, I'm going to show the exception version. So let's go look at those two. All right, under the hood, looking at G102, this is the left hand side of the 5.3 liter engine. If we come down here and we put a inspection mirror, And we zoom in, you can see that eyelet right there that's underneath that gray wiring harness attachment piece. That's G102. All right, moving to the passenger side, looking for G103 now. We're going to look on the front of the passenger side cylinder head here. And we can see right there the nut on the stud holding those two ground wires next to that casting number 243 to the right of it. That's G103. All right, G104, left front corner of the engine mounted to the left cylinder head. I actually think this is a, a typo because I'm going to show you the location of this is on the left rear corner of the engine mounted to the left cylinder head. Um, G105, I won't be able to show you because that's part of our POHP2, but it's located on the lower left front of the engine block. I'll also show you G108, which is the left rear corner of the engine compartment above the power brake booster. I'll show you G110, which is the left rear corner of the engine compartment to the right of the wiper motor grommet. And I'll show you G111, which is in the left rear corner of the engine compartment attached to the hood. 
All right, we're back on the driver's side or the left side of the engine. We've got our brake master cylinder and brake booster here. You can see this, gra this ground strap heading to the back of the left cylinder head here. If we put our inspection mirror back here, you can see G104 if we zoom in on the mirror. All right, that's G104 right there in the back where that ground strap is attached. And then if we follow that ground strap up to the top here, and where it attaches up here at the top, probably don't need that, that much light anymore, that's G108. So this is G108 right here. And then if we move this little harness out of the way, that little guy right above him is G110. And then if we follow this harness right here, and we track him up to the hood. This is the ground on the hood, G111. All right, just a page in the diagram, since I don't have a vehicle with RPO HP2 to show you. G105 with HP2. Here you can see the pulley for the crankshaft. That ground and grommet should be attached right there in the front left of the engine, just like we saw indicated in the write-up. And then G103. Same side, straight down, closer to the oil pan. Right, so that's how that would look. All right, so now we're going to move into the 200 section. There's only two grounds in that front seat area. G200 is in the instrument panel in the right front corner near the A pillar, and G201 is in the upper left corner of the instrument panel near the A pillar. Now we're not going to be able to see these because you'd have to disassemble the dash to see them. But if you have that disassembled, you want to know where they are, I can show you a diagram. So in the diagram, here's G200, right? So here's your HVAC unit with your blower over here. And right on top of the metal part of the dash behind, on the, so the body underneath the plastic dash, that one right there is G200. And this is on the passenger side, showing the front of the vehicle, right? So this is the passenger side fender. It's right there in the corner. And then if I flip a page back, G201 is on the driver's side. All right, so here's an orientation view here. Here's your fender facing forward, firewall. They're showing the blow up here. Again, forward facing of the vehicle. It's located right there in the upper corner. And again, you've got your dash on top of this. The plastic's on top of this. This is the metal underneath. All right, now we're moving into the 300s as we move towards the back seat. This one's still... Um, in that same area, but it's underneath. So G300 is under the vehicle at the driver door on a body mount. G301 is under the left side of the passenger seat. G302 is under the right side of the passenger seat. G303 is on the left side B pillar behind the trim panel. Now some of these I won't be able to show you on a live vehicle because you've got to pull trim, but I'll show you a diagram. And then moving to the next page... G304 is on the right side B pillar behind the trim panel. G305 with, with EXP or HP2 only is under the vehicle to the rear of the left B pillar at the third body mount on the frame. And then these next four are only going to be for RPO HP2, which is a hybrid. G311 inside the drive motor generator battery enclosure, forward of the battery modules, left hand side. G312 Inside the drive motor generator battery enclosure, forward of the battery modules, right-hand side. G13, right-hand side of the vehicle, underbody, aft of the rear axle, and G314, mounted to the center of the rear axle. I'll show you diagrams on these as well. All right, here's some diagrams. Here's G300. I'll show you G300 live on this vehicle in a minute, but you can see it attached to the side of this frame rail. I'll show you that on the vehicle. G305 happens to be in this view as well. That I can't show you on the live vehicle, but it's located right there. So that's the front of the vehicle on the frame rail here. You're going to find that. If we go back a little bit further, here we can find another view of um, G300, just from this angle here. And this is also good for seeing G305, number four just right here. Again, I can't show you that one live, but you can see it's mounted right on the side of that frame mount. Um, here's a shot of G311 and 312, number three and number four. And then we turn this page again. 
here's G301, number 5. Again, this is only with RPO LWB. G302, number 4. G303, number 3. G304, um, number 1. So you can see these are all going to be inside panels. So they're showing you the blow up of each pillar and then showing you where it is inside. All right, so orientation, hunting for G300. Here's the front left tire. And I'm just going to move my hand back up to this frame mount here. And there you can see G300 is bolted on right there. All right, last three grounds, G400 mounted to the left rear body mount behind the left rear tire on the frame. G41 is mounted to the left rear body mount behind the left rear tire on the frame. And then G402 is only with RPO E52. It'll be mounted to the right D pillar behind the trim panel. So I can't show you this one on the vehicle, but let's see if we have a diagram for it, as well as maybe a diagram for the other two, and then we'll go look at the vehicle for the others. So here's G400, number one. So we can see the rear of the vehicle, because the arrow is showing the front. All the way on the back of the frame, we should find G400. And then for these other ones, G402, number three. Can't see that one because it's going to be inside the trim panel. This is the rear of the vehicle, front here, rear of the vehicle. That's the rear AC blower, so it's going to be located behind this trim panel in the, uh, the back trunk area, or the back uh, storage area, cargo area. And then, let's see if we have any other diagrams for these. Here's G401 and G400, another view. So number two, another view of G400 just coming in from this angle. And then 401 from this angle, right there. So 400 and 401. I think that's, now this is with RPO HP2. Let's see if there's uh, anything without. Here's a view of G402 with RPO LWB right there. And again, you can't get at these because they're going to be behind this panel area. But let's take a look at the one that we can look at. All right, we're in the back of the truck now. Here's the rear bumper. Here's this body mount that they're referring to. You can't see it, but in this direction is the driver's side rear wheel. And so here we see these two grounds. The way it's drawn in the service manual, G400 is closer to the frame, and G401 is towards the fender, or excuse me, the, uh, the side quarter panel. So this is G400, and this is G401. So I hope this video helped you out when you're trying to debug electrical problems and you need to find these grounds to check them and keep them clean. As we saw in all these, this truck is in pretty good shape. We don't see any corrosion on any of these fasteners. We don't see any kind of corrosion on any of the eyelets that we looked at today. And nor do we see any corrosion on the ground strap. If you need a new ground strap, I'll put a link to that part number in the description below. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, pay it forward and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you have comments or questions, leave them below and I'll try to help. And as always, thanks for watching.